I'm a Man United fan. I'm joined by Oscar and Chelsea fan. Champion! It's champion! It's champion! For it, for it, for it, for it, for it, Champions. Um, and I'm joined by David, an Arsenal fan. It's happened again. again. It's happened again. John the Mossbirds. It's happened again. It's happened again. <laughs> in your face, in your face, in your face. Um, yeah, Chelsea Can champions. I just say, I said on the last podcast, oh, by the time we record oh, again, God. Chelsea will be champions. Mm. And look what's happened. Yeah, you beat Pass with a penalty. All right, all right. All right. We, we beat Pass right. with a penalty. All we beat right. Pass with a penalty. We won the league by 13 points. That's right. No, you haven't won the league yet. It's not, I mean, you haven't won yet. It's not by yeah, 13 points yet. But we're 13 points later when we yeah, crossed right, the, yeah. cross the thing. The season's not finished. So at the end of the season, you can say you won the league by X amount. You can't see ah, well, well, all right. Well, well, all right. Uh, yeah, you won the yeah. league with 18 points. First. Anyway, Chelsea one 0 winners um, against um, Palace. Was you nervous during the game? It seemed like a nervy performance. Um, I think if we hadn't scored in the first half, it would have been a bit more nervy than it was. But I, I think the whole day was just set up for Chelsea to win the league. It just Man, looked like, like Yannick, it was going to happen. Less. <laughs> I, I don't think anyone. I don't think anyone believed it wasn't going to happen that way. But I'm so happy because we won our first title in five years. Yeah. And we're the best team in the league. All right. By a, by a mile. Who, who, who disagrees? No, I'm just saying. No one's I, disagreed with I, you, by the way. I, I've seen No one said any. Like, you know, Chelsea. No, yeah, but people have been throwing stick and throwing little jabs and yeah, throwing. Every champion that's, that's gets what, a that's jab. Where he is, isn't nah, it? That's yeah, it. Exactly. Every, every champion gets exactly. a jab. I know, but I've got to defend my team. Listen, City, get, <laughs> City win yeah, the league they or they bought the ball. league they with all that oil rich yeah. money. Chelsea win the league. There's some, some Russian in Russia has probably passed away. Then if Man United win the league, I mean, yeah. 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 Well, well, this time it's us. I mean? so, this time it's yeah, us. We yeah, ran really away sick. with the league quite clearly in the first like how can I put it? First half of the season, we were phenomenal. Like people were talking about us going unbeaten. The team was that good. No one talks Great. about it. Only Chelsea. Um, Chelsea beat Tottenham three <laughs> yeah. 0 I distinctly remember at Stamford Bridge. The next day, the headline on the Daily Telegraph was a picture of Didier Drogba celebrating and the headline was Invincible. Is that what Fabregas said? This is, this is ridiculous. Thing is um, I think Fabregas said it a, a few weeks joke. before it's that. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. But yeah, isn't it? the fact Fabregas is getting asked it in interviews already, oh, you think this team can go on beating? Yeah. I mean, that's media though, isn't it? Uh, everyone would no, be not, every, not, not every team gets that. What do you mean? Teams unbeaten? don't get that. Yeah, of course they do. If it, if yeah, who's, who, Oscar, no, who have they Oscar, asked that for? for, the, for? Uh, no one's been on beating that, that long. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah, that's my point. But that's why you were asked it. Yeah, but that's why I'm trying to say to you I'm that saying that's how was... good Chelsea were. Oh, all right. That we were that oh, people were asking oh, that. That's right. the point I'm making. Yeah. yeah. Nobody cared about you because we don't beat them because it was never gonna happen. Well, yeah, we never it's, said it's, it. It's, the we never said it. to do that now anyway. You, you guys said it. We only lost two games it. anyway, so that's all right. I mean, it's it done well. True? Yeah, we lost to Newcastle United away. Oh, and How embarrassing is that? Away. Huh? To think you lost to Newcastle this season. How embarrassing must that feel? No, not really. I mean, Newcastle haven't won a game in the probably last season. We know. We know. Alan Pardew has gone up. Like last year. <laughs> I'm sure it was like 14 that they lost. Yeah, one. but we know we know how football works, isn't it? It's just it's just like that. But yeah, top of the league since how'd day you feel, one. Man? You top feel? of the league okay. since day one. Let's not, let's not go with day one. Since we'll, day, we'll go with like one. day three or something like that. Not day one. Day one. So we'll, we went top. The only time we were, we were second was when we were Tottenham were above us on goal difference at one point. I think I like the third game of the season. But other than that, we we're breaking the record for the most days at number one in the Premier League. Well oh, it's just, we're just so relieved. Well done. We're just so really. Can, there's no one here to celebrate with me. I feel like you guys. No, I mean, you guys can't be my my John Terry and my oh, and my oh, Gary Cahill. John Terry. And my Eden Hazard. You need to take that back. Come on, you're come man. on, you're John Terry. Can, can we not? Can we have a round of applause for the champions? No, no. Why not? Uh, because why not? Chelsea. That's <laughs> why. Chelsea. Oh, you guys can't stand it. Oscar, no yeah. way would you ever congratulate Manchester United on winning the tro- and winning the Premier League. Do. Whoever tap wins him. the league, I tap always tap them. Him. Him. You tap him. Give him the guard of honor. You give him the guard of honor. This is mud. If Arsenal won it, you would not hear the end. No matter. No matter. I mean, you know. No matter which team wins it, like I'm always. Maybe there might be a Chelsea fan out there who might want to jump on the pod as well, and you know, might be your John Terry. No, look, yeah, it's just. It's it's been a fantastic season. Like there's yeah. so many things I can mention. First of all, we can talk about Mourinho. Yeah, oh, the God. best manager in the world. I, yeah, I, I don't the agree. best manager in the world. I don't agree. Took charge of Chelsea agree. last season. 
didn't have a great a great season, but he said in the interviews that oh we're gonna win the league next season. We're a little horse right now. Yeah, he could have won the league season. last year as well. He just said that to cover himself up because he flopped last year. Well, it's not he flopped. Well, Oscar, and you know that full well, well. and uh, you know the fact you could have won the league last year. Your team was good enough to win the league. Well, last year. do you know what? Yeah, Mourinho saw. Well, some people still don't think our team's good enough to win it this year. So who I don't said know. that? Yeah, who you know, like, who what, said your team was good enough to win it this year? I've heard people say things like, no, the only reason Chelsea right. won the league is because no one gave him a challenge. No, no, I, no, no. Stupid granted, statements no, 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 like no, no, that. No, no, no. You weren't the best hold team. On, hold on, hold on. Granted, yeah, you were the best team in the league this year, but who gave you a challenge this year? That's not our fault. Yeah, who's discrediting it? No one's saying it's your fault. It is, because you're using it as a way oh, to no detract from our fantastic You're going like to say you played, you played against well. the best and beat the best and then won the league. That's not what happened We this played year. against what was against us. Yeah, no, exactly. But and we won. Exactly, but not won. everyone else was, was asleep this season. Well, yeah. No one really got it together. Only Chelsea got we it together this year. Went into, Arsenal went into the season <laughs> with two bloody defenders. Yeah, I mean, look, you two! Could, yeah, no, two! Any time a team wins the league, you could say that about their competition. The only year you could have probably said that was when Man United went into 2013. Last, Again, se- last, no season, last season, City won the league. Every team that should have won no, it collapsed. No, Liverpool but, but collapsed in they, front of them. They Chelsea the, then yeah. collapsed in front of them. Yeah, but and then City in, won it. When did they collapse, though? They collapsed Even the Arsenal the were top of the league. Yeah, exactly. Collapsed. Everyone was big at one point. Liverpool were big at one point. City were big. Chelsea were big. Arsenal were big. So because so we was, ran away with the league, oh, there was no one else. No, there was no saying, one else. <laughs> what I'm saying is, did I not just say we were the best team in the league? Yeah. yeah, you were. Yeah. You got your stuff together. Yeah. So then it should end there. No, you got your stuff together. Nobody else got Nobody their stuff, else stuff together. Did, that's what. That's, that's the, yeah. I'm not saying that's why you, you won saw, the league. You but saw your saying, issues. Mourinho saw your that issues. Is. Sorted them out. Sorted we, them no one else did. No one else sorted out mm. their problems. Man City, AJ so squad, City, didn't do it. United, City didn't try yeah. it. Too it's many it's injuries. It's 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 I know. I know. Arsenal. Everybody loves to talk about money when it comes to Chelsea, but since Mourinho took over, Chelsea have had the lowest net spend, lower than Liverpool. Uh, Man United, Arsenal, and Man City. Yeah, because you sold the past sold, two years. Yeah, sold a hell, sold of, a hell of a lot. Yeah, you so, but but do you know what's funny? Got F, that's why you still got you still got twenty players on loan every year. So yeah, you know you still it's still you're saying balancing books. You've had to you've been forced to do that. It's not yeah, that cool. but, but the thing is, the, this is stuff that amassed even after Mourinho had left. Like once Mourinho left in two thousand and seven, I think it was. Yeah. Chelsea spending increased and carried on, yeah. Yeah. but since Mourinho has come back, he's reined it all back in <laughs> and said, "Okay, we've got to get rid of this." He's still this got person, to do more. He's person. got a long obviously, way to go. Obviously, he's still got a obviously. long way to go because uh, certain men like Marion and Moses and them lot, but still to come back in the, summer, in, in the summer. Huh? Moses is, I don't think, he's a Chelsea player anymore. Anyway. I, I saw you went to Stoke. Was he's bought though? Uh, I, I don't think he's a Chelsea player. Like all the guys I'm mentioning are on loan. Like Atsu is still a Chelsea player. All these other dons. So uh, you know. Nah, sure. well, they'll, they'll, they'll get to it. <laughs> I bet Barini and Sancho are still Chelsea. It's still a bit, it's still a bit annoyed that we don't have De Bruyne and we don't have Andre Scherler. Oh, but what are you up doing? other than that, we, you know, yeah. Mourinho, yeah. De Bruyne's too good, man. Balancing Bruyne's the books. No, but when you went on board Quadrado, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, yeah, no. Yeah, no. I, mean, I mean, look, Chelsea uh, will always <laughs> spend money every year. Every year they will. No, hey, there's no doubt about more. that. Because yeah. even in the summer now. You would say, okay, you know what, this Chelsea no, team is good enough to go again next though. year. You could say that, but Mourinho's not stopping now. He's seen a guy in his team already that he, he probably doesn't want. He's got guys on the bench that he probably doesn't trust. So he, he will revamp the squad. No problem. You know what I'm saying? He would do that. But fam, you, keep, you have to keep the brain, bro. He'll do that. Yeah, but the, listen, thing about, the thing about Mourinho is that, despite the fact he sold players, yeah. he's bought players that have worked. Like Other managers across the board have spent so much money and not all the players have worked. Not all the signings have come through. True. Mourinho signed Diego Costa, 19 goals this season. Does he play a smaller this... squad? Uh, Listen, I would not say at the yeah. beginning of the season, this yeah. guy plays 14 players maximum. Yeah, no, we, 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 we've only played 22 does players. Does yeah, yeah. Does he prefer a smaller squad? Uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't trust the squad. That's no, what it is. Well, I, he doesn't trust the no, squad. He's, he's just like having a first he's, 11. Yeah, he's got a first it's 11, not, but that's it's not about 11. not trusting. Do you remember that time in the season when you lost really started getting tired and it was really kicking on in your, in your season when City started catching you up and all that kind of thing? You could tell that, look, this guy needs to rotate. He's not rotating. And because of, when you look at it, if you pull out, if you take Matic out, you put in Mikel, I can understand why he doesn't do that. We, we were talking about in the pod earlier this season, like, oh, right, this guy doesn't rotate, this guy doesn't rotate, and it's going to catch up with him. And then, no, I, don't know. I, nah, I don't know, man. I don't, think that's, listen, you, you I don't think that's entirely true. We've seen plenty of times Oscar's coming in and out of the squad. Don't you think that you're, an injury worries think, of our no, strikers? That's, that's what it's ruined yeah. your FA Cup run, that's what ruined your Champions League run. We, look, yeah, we, we lost one game in the FA Cup. Well, yeah, it's, that's all it takes. Yeah, I know, but it's like, I, I don't think that was an issue of rotation because we rotated that squad and lost. 
Yeah, so, exactly, because they've the not point? had no experience all season. So imagine certain guys nah. come in and they play against, okay, for, but we'll be at Bradford. Let's not no, forget what, that. What, what, what I think we're just, we're just trying to find the criticism here. No, no, it's, no. no it's not, we're not finding no criticism. He <laughs> asked the question, does Mourinho like his squad? And yeah, my yeah, thing was that I don't think, no, I don't think, yeah, no, I think that's true. I think he prefers a smaller squad. A lot of people do. Don't get me wrong. I think even Wenger is like he's sixteen. I need my. I mean, the play, the players, the thing about Chelsea, the players know each other. They're working well. Yeah, and it's like you know, a lot of these players, um, it's their first time winning a title with Chelsea. Players like Hazard, Aspilicueta. Cahill, yeah. um, yeah, there's a lot Matic, of them. No, there's a lot of them. Willian, all these players like Matic won it in his first year, did he not? Yeah, but he wasn't really a feature really? in the squad really at those times. Yeah, <laughs> imagine he's got two Premier League titles. That's yeah. hilarious, Matic. That's hilarious. Oh, that's hilarious. But yeah, no, no. I yeah, mean, he's done it. He's done it. And obviously, the amount of players, yeah, that I could I could sit here and go through the whole team and tell you how great everyone's been. You need to bring through youngsters, but. Man, but. That's the only bro, thing. So, yeah, we so can yeah, talk about no, bringing for young. That's the only thing left, that, bro. bro. I don't know what. Listen, that's like, it's like, it's like, this is like Real Madrid of England. They're not, they're not gonna do that. Nah, that's what, come on. You're not gonna do that. Not under Mourinho. Real Madrid of England. No, no, no. Not under, under, listen, Look, you Chelsea, guys, are, okay. Chelsea are gonna make Ch- an effort Chelsea towards I mean? bringing in n- younger players from the youth. Oh Chelsea, what? the Chelsea youth what? team. Oh, what would you do when Terry cuts, bro? They will buy the problem. That's the. That's what nah, I'm saying about the Madrid. That's what you're thinking. That's what I'm saying. Oh well, I, I, I'm only I, going based I, on experience. I, I generally don't think it's going to work out that way. I, I think Chelsea have experience. understood that in the past we've been very poor with youth players. In terms of they they do well for Chelsea youth come up and just get sold, which is obviously I mean, look, not ideal. Okay, you got, what's but his, we're, what's we're, we're going to have we're going to have, we're gonna have Patrick Bamford. Bamford. Will, will he feature in the Chelsea squad next season? A player who's player of the year in one league? I think so. I think I think I think he, I think no, I mean, think, I think he should bad no, no, everyone thinks he should, but it's that How old is he? Can I put it this way? This is not the way that this is not the Chelsea we know for the last ten years. It's not the one that yeah, we but know. The Chelsea even we last know, season. Yeah, but Chelsea for the past two years hasn't been the Chelsea we've known for the past ten years. Um, Since well, Mourinho's I mean, come back, I think we're di- we're we're very different in the way we do things. The um that the balancing the books thing being a prime example. What was the difference with 0506 season when, uh-huh. and then this season? 0506 was just spend, bought, spend, he, spend. Yeah, he had a team. And, and Mourinho has spent money. Let's not, yeah. let's not deny that. I'm he's, not saying he hasn't, he's but I'm saying like he's, he's, he's been million, a bit more economical with the way... He's spent a, lot, a hell of a lot of money. Yeah, but he's been a lot more. He's brought in a lot of money as well. I mean, back... No, because you know like 0506, what, them times, I don't think you had to offload anyone. It wasn't like you know, were on a massive loss of like 100 million. We did. No, but... We had a lot of players. Yeah, A, there was no FFP back then, but B... I mean, it was your Jimmy Floyd Hasselbanks and your Good Johnsons that they were getting rid of. They didn't have to get rid of, like, you know, Lampard, uh, yeah, yeah, Lampards or whatever. You don't, you don't, you don't, ah, I don't know. Listen, look, uh, in terms of that youth thing you're, that you're on about, as long as Mourinho's underneath that, or maybe even Abramovich is underneath that, forget that. These Abramovich is putting no, money. I, I, I he wants to make that, his I money think, make money. I think that's where he wants to go, though. He wants I the Champions say. League. No, he's a, he's a winner. Abramovich wants trophies, bro. No, the I, I, I think I generally think Chelsea are looking at long term from now on, and I feel like young players are going to be infiltrated more into the squad. Yeah, yeah, they're offering a new yeah. contract. Where's well. Mourinho going to go? You wait. Where's Mourinho oh, going to no, go? No, listen, God knows where he's, he's done go. it in Spain. He's God done it in Italy. The only place he could ever really go is Bayern. But is Bayern even a competition for him? He no. said on countless occasions the Premier League is the best league in the world. Yeah. So, you know, I, I just don't think. I, I, I don't <coughs> see. I, I think he'll be here for at least another three or four years. The second time, I don't think they're going to sack him. Because now FFP has just now done a madness, bro. I mean, th- but this is the thing, though. You never saw him getting sacked in the first term. You know, this guy was winning back-to-back titles. Listen, this guy was... Thought, th- there's no, I mean, there I, no, I kind of no, saw it. There was no reason to get rid of Mourinho. I kind of saw it. I mean, when, when Shevchenko came in and it was quite clear that Mourinho didn't really want Shevchenko and Abramovich wanted to play a certain style of football, Mourinho was like, this is how we play. That sort of thing no, happened. That's why I said, as long as Abramovich is in charge... Really, I don't think that's going to happen again. You can't now spend now to buy... You can't... You literally can't Bro, buy if the Abramovich title. If Abramovich turns around and says, "I this is a guy I want in my team," if he if he turns around and says, "I want," everybody restricts him. Listen, listen. Yeah, yeah, no, FFP restricts him. No, no, no. Yes, it does. Yes, Bro, it does. I don't know if you've been watching FFP lately, but it's not doing nothing for nobody that's spending well. Bro. It's doing nothing for no one. They will find a way around it. They will always find a way around it. You can sell ten players in the summer, and you can buy Cristiano Ronaldo, and you can't say nothing about FFP. No, you're not You'd be amazed. Yeah, but he, they he, bought Shevchenko. Either way, either let's way. remember the time they bought Shevchenko. Either way, we're, get, we're getting, a, it's getting a bit like, what? Like, 
Either way, I still think Mourinho is, is the best manager in the world. And I think this season, he did he did really prove it. I mean, when we started the season, we were on fire, literally smoking teams. And people don't want to remember that, but we were playing, we were playing amazing football, scoring fantastic goals. We went to Everton and scored six goals. We went to Everton and scored six goals. Of course, Wenger's the best manager in the world. I know, I'm not, I'm not getting into that. Wenger didn't win the league. It was Ferguson. Now he's not there. Wenger's the best. I'm not even, let's forget biasness here. Forget all of that. Right, let me explain what I was saying because you didn't let me finish my point even. What do you mean? Like, you, you stopped talking. No, I hadn't. You he was it. talking to me. He yeah, stopped talking. but I'm still talking. No, 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 no. <laughs> I just disagree that no matter what you say about Mourinho, he's not the best manager in the world. At the end of the day, we were storming the league in the beginning, like literally smashing teams, scored six goals at Goodison Park, things like that. But we were poor defensively. We were conceding goals, and that was evident. Same, it hit us. We lost to Newcastle. Lost, got battered by Tottenham, and then. Mourinho was just like, okay, let's just win the league. Let's just secure this. Patch up that defence. Mm-hmm. We're not going to be leaking goals anymore, but we're not going to score as much either. And we won the league. And people are going to say that's boring or whatever, and they don't like it. But we did all that fancy footwork to put us at the top of the league in the first place. Yeah, We, we did. We did all that. So that's why I think Mourinho is such an excellent tactician. Knows when to shut down the game. Knows. I mean, there's, there were times this season when he brought on Mikel and I was a bit annoyed because it was like, oh, we're just killing the game right now. But he knows what he's doing. <laughs> Players like John, John Terry, Captain John Terry, played every single minute of this Premier League season so far. Mm-hmm. To think to think when people were saying he's too old, he hasn't got the pace, he hasn't got this, that, proved he's the best central defender in the Premier League this season. And he's just, like, murdered it. You can't even question, like, how, how well this team has he's formed. A good man. He's a good centre-back. I don't know why anyone would doubt. He's, there's, never, there's, never, there's never been a reason for, him to, for, for anyone to doubt his ability anyway. When it comes to the England squad, there's always the question of why is Terry not in the England squad? No, I mean, enough, but, yeah, but that's because in, England is... No, he hung, he hung up his boots, but it was one of them things where, like, even yeah, if, if you go to the World Cup this year now, mate, do you, still, you still need mate, Terry. I now. remember that time when, who was it? Was it Van Persie that, that made Terry slip and he sort of just, like... <clears throat> no, I think it was Van Persie. Yeah, that was under AVB, though. Yeah. I think that was Van Persie. Which year? The one, the one, the one, the one where um, where Terry slipped. Yeah, the yeah, one where we beat you. Was it was when we bang him five three blood at Stamford Bridge. Walcott sends the. I think it's Ramsey or Walcott passes the ball across no, and Terry no, slips there. It was Van Persie. No, Van Persie doesn't make him slip. Van Persie receives the ball because Terry slips. Yeah, no, yeah. Van Persie no. was always getting it. No, he wasn't. He was. Oh, this wait, the, no, no, wait, John wait, Terry wait, had wait, the ball. Wait, he wait, slipped. Wait, then wait, he wait, ran on to yeah, it. Yeah, then Van It was in his possession, but then then Van Persie gets it. Yeah, he gets it. So what's it got to do with Walcott? What's it got to do with Van Persie? Van Persie's pace was the one that took it past Terry, and Terry slipped after. Terry no, started chasing your, after. I think it was one of your players that made a poor back pass. Why are we talking about a game in a 2012? But yeah. I'm not trying to explain like, my point, innit? No, the, the, the fact that at that, that period of time, people were saying, Terry's lost it. He's not as good as he was in 05. He's not this. He's not that. He's not good enough to lead Chelsea to the title. And he's proven this season that he's more than that. Like He's, you know he's had arguably one of his best seasons. Can I make a point on that? Because I think, you see the, that year you're on about, the, around that time, I remember there was that time when the, 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 was it the racial issue happened and then I think just before that was the Wayne Bridge incident and I think affairs outside of the game affected his play blatantly on the pitch like maybe, was, maybe, I, yeah. I, I don't think he ever lost his talent I think it was just mm. things that happened outside really yeah, affected him in there confused, then, then this season when you look at this season have you noticed that we, we've not spoken about John Terry until at the end that everyone's thinking oh why wasn't he made in the shortlist of player of the year I think because Chelsea as a whole Normally, it's Terry who is always the outstanding leader of all of them. But I think this year, it's completely different. The way Mourinho has even taken leadership himself, it's almost like he's the captain on the pitch rather than John Terry. John Terry's just got on with his job, done his work, done his thing. And of course, yeah, he's been, you know, when, when John Terry's on his game, you can't you stop can't, the guy. You're not but, then, <laughs> but then you've also got like, people like, ahead of him, you had Matic. Matic was covering a back four, which consisted of a spiller, Quetta, Ivanovic, Cahill and Terry. Like, and, and in goal, you've got Courtois. There were so many more players in that team than John Terry. That's the only. That's the only thing I think, based on what, what you were what you're talking about there. I think if the spotlight is on John Terry, we see the Chelsea of the last see three that, or four years. The players you just mentioned, to yeah. me, it sounds like such a great Premier League side, but I don't feel like people are seeing it that way. I don't feel like people are sort of respecting. I don't know what you're after. I, I'm confused because no, no one's, I mean, no one's been... denied that Chelsea's not been the best team. A, we've not denied that on the pod. Yeah. B. Um, Bear this in mind, we're all fans and we hate every other team. Yes, <laughs> yeah. let's, let's get that one out yeah. of the way first of all, yeah? So when you clear that dust, all of a sudden, Man United will not respect, will not want respect from anybody when they win the league. They don't care about nobody else. No, Arsenal, but we pay, Arsenal, Arsenal, I pay the respect, me personally yeah, as a fan. Well, then, okay, when a team guess, wins the I league, I, I feel like it's fair enough to say this was a great team. 
and we talk about it and we 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 celebrate it. I don't feel like with Chelsea, it's getting it gets celebrated. Obviously, players like Eden Hazard, just winning PFA Player of the Year, scoring yeah. 90 goals, like yeah. it's calm. He was excellent this yeah. season. Should have been Alexis, but yeah, no, no. I, I feel uh, like Alexis should have got Player of the Year. It's not, I'm, not even, I'm not even going to deny that. I'm over over Hazard? Hazard? Only because Hazard's won the league. Alexis. I, told, I told you, whoever, if you win the league, you win it. Uh, unless you score 30 goals. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. No, I seriously, Hazard's unless you score 30 season. goals. Go look yeah, at, yeah, yeah, go yeah, look at the records of Premier League PFA. If I you score like, 30 goals, they, they make you like the outstanding guy. But if you if your team wins the league or wins the trophy, blah, 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 you, you get it. And that's why Torrey was no, so upset. Torrey's been yeah. upset two years, in a, two years when they won the league. Where he's like, how have I not been mentioned in this? There was a year when um, when Dale won it. Didn't score 30 goals. Tottenham didn't win anything. Did he get player of the year? Yeah. yeah. He was outstanding, man. Suarez got to it. To be well. fair, he dra- yeah, Suarez got it. Yeah, well, sorry, yeah, Suarez got it. But yeah, I think it's fair that Hazard got it. I think if, even if... No, he, I, mean, I don't think it's unfair. And I think if it were for injuries, we might have seen Diego Costa score 25 goals this year. You know, obviously... obviously it's weird, because Costa is a weird is a weird thing. Bro, like, do you know... His the, stats, yeah, and the way that... And what you see of him, I, I, I don't know if they match. I don't know if I'm... Bro, if at I'm, the start of the season, we like, all... There was only, uh, we had a, a podcast, there was a lot more of us here, I think it was like six or seven of us, yeah. and we all said Diego Costa will definitely be Premier League top scorer this season. He was close though. He's yeah, I mean, he's not he's far. Scored, he scored like, he scored like far. eight goals in ten games or something yeah, ridiculous yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah. that. Ham, That's hamstring. when you look at playing attractive football, yeah. Ham, I'll give you that. Hamstrings just Murdered. stop him. I'll Murdered. give you that. I'll give Murdered. you that. But yeah, I, I, Robin's I'm awfully quiet yeah, on this yeah. segment. Bro, it's, it's, it's a disappointing like, time for West Brom. I mean, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't know, you know. Anyway, hey. but um, so Oscar next season, what's the what's the plan? <sighs> Champions League. Oh, Fabregas started talking that already. You know, as you see on the paper, Champions League. Ah, he's a snake. Fabregas bro. is a G, bro. A Fabregas snake. said, "Here, I want to come to this I'm club to win trophies," him, and he's won two. Do you know what he said? Two out of four. Oh, right this morning. Mourinho. Oh yeah, you read that. Yeah, I read it. What did he say? What did he say? What do you say? Yeah, Mourinho's the best manager I've ever worked with. I was just like, you that can't say that. So well, bad. do you know what? Yeah, I'm um, not gonna he's worked like... under Pep Guardiola and Arsene Wenger and Mourinho, and he said Mourinho was the best. Oh, that yeah, hurts, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I didn't that, even that, mention that, Fabregas. That, that 17 hurt. assists this yeah, season. Fabregas is, listen, bro. I mean, we were, all, we were all pissed when he went over to you lot. I mean, I mean we know on. what we had. You know what I'm saying? People were questioning, has he still got it? Well, you saw his first game of the season and what, what assists he was putting out there. Yeah. Anyway, that's but yeah, it's just so nice. I'm, 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 I'm happy for him for winning a trophy. I just wish it wasn't with Chelsea. That's the thing about Fabregas. It's so easy to forget what he did for Arsenal. The guy was was Arsenal for a long time. Trust. He was the you know like Henri was Arsenal at one point. Yeah. But this guy was Arsenal in the in the worst years under Wenger. And yet, you know, that's why after the booing at the, at the at the game, second half, I think everyone just laid off him in the squad. Ha. You know what? Yeah. Well, I'll end the. <laughs> the um, championship talk with this simple simple yeah Chelsea finished top yeah United Arsenal City not good enough yeah. right yeah and we are the champions agreed yeah, great agreed, bro. great agreed. great agreed. that's all I have to say I'm so happy agreed, agreed. Uh, moving, moving on <laughs> moving on Man United's third defeat in a row <laughs> 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 That's three games with no points. And you no lost West Brom again! The thing for me is that they've not scored in three. I think that's what's worried me. Again! <laughs> <United fans. laughs> no, hold on. I'm all, why, who is your number one penalty taker? West Brom at Old Trafford. But I, put, I swear it's Rooney, <sighs> bro. I've heard a lot about this penalty thing. I don't think it's a big deal. Van Persie's an inadequate penalty taker. Bro, okay. he, should, he just he come should, back from injury, bro. Nah, you shouldn't should be, be taking that penalty, really. bro. I mean, I Rooney takes that penalty all deal? day long, bro. Deal, I don't want Liverpool to get in the top four, man. I'd rather Liverpool than United. We nah, mad. not Brendan. Brendan's running his mouth too much, Liverpool's bro. Liverpool's not going to make it, don't you worry. Know? <laughs> they, they won't make it anyway. Man, These Chelsea just beat them at Stamford Bridge. But um, yeah, um, Saturday evening. Why am I United on my TV again this Saturday? No, Every week, dead, though. though. No, but they're, they're on again on Saturday, bro. When? At, but we're at Palace. Oh, oh Palace, that's going to be a bit tough. But anyway. Pardiola. Pardi- yeah, West Brom. Um, what, what's his name? Olsen, what? Olsen. Was it Brunt? Oh, well, yeah, yeah Olsen. Olsen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, oh, it was one of them games, wasn't it? Uh, hey, Valencia's crap, bruv. Oh, I mean, Valencia's pants, bruv. can't cross. My gosh. That's a, that's, that's a, that's a... That's Di Maria, a, pants. 
Oh, Di Maria had a bad game. <laughs> I mean, he came off the bench. He, he, he was poor. Oh, he was poor. Every Listen, cross he was all poor. <laughs> Blank. Everything was poor. Me, My days. I've been te- I don't know if I was telling you, Robin, or, or I don't know who I was telling on the weekend. I said, look, this manager of theirs is, is taking the piss out of Man United. Forget the players. The manager is taking the mick, bro. And I'm so sorry. Mm, I've got to, Yeah, because you always... No, Julius, I still feel the injustice of David Moyes, isn't it? Very strongly this season. And I've been... <laughs> that's, that's my one cloud over Van Gaal. It's been that. So the fact that even now he's got 150 million to spend, whatever, and he's got them to go fourth place. Fam. No, no, no. This should not be happening. But anyway, Robin, you can take the hot seat. Man United were a better team against West Brom, just, just for the record. They, were, they battered West Brom. But... Fellaini, and, uh, Fellaini was ahead of Van Persie and Rudy at one point. Yeah! Oh, my <laughs> lad! No, no, wait. I oh, saw this mate. on match of the oh, day, yeah? Mate. No, no, no. Hey. I was asking myself, yeah, why is Van Persie and Rudy bad ca- deep, bro? Two counter-attacks. I saw this happen, and I thought, oh, I was just still sitting there. Robin. I can't believe it. Bro. <laughs> why is Fellaini up front, bro? <laughs> well, I saw this. Forward. I was watching this, yeah. I was like, hold on, bro. Set it forward. <laughs> Marouille hey. Fellaini. Where's, where's Ashley Young's spark? That, that was happening with all that. What's happened? A man them are going to offer him a new contract, you know? Hey. No, seriously? Yeah. Oh, Van Gaal, he's standing up. I want to hear shirt. from Robin, to be honest. I do, okay. I'm waiting. I'm here. Let's just take a hot back seat. So, I'm already saying this now. Go on. The whole United team were not that guy this week. No. Oh. The whole team. The whole team. <laughs> uh, the fact that we dominated that game. <laughs> the fact that we had countless chances and again we lost to a set piece. Did you United have more possession? <coughs> Sam, it was like 80%. It was like 99% possession. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a loaded no, question. I, well, <laughs> I, uh, Who do you blame? What, what, no. what, what's the wrong? What's going on there? I blame the players over the manager over this one. What? Oh, go on, go on, sorry. Just due to the <laughs> what? <fact. laughs> you just due it. to the fact we had the possession, but we just couldn't score. And I just want, I'm just hoping that some place in Manchester, where the whole team are, yeah. that Van Hal has all of them lined up <laughs> taking penalties. <laughs> taking I mean, penalties. Was, it, was it a bad taking, penalty, though? Was it a great um, save? It was a great save. It was a good save. Yeah, it was a good save. But, again, Di Murray mm-hmm. had a poor game. I'm not going to name player. The whole team had a poor game. Yeah. Um, I just feel like... Yeah, it was just... I'm just feel like, look, you, you could easily see this game being 4-1, 5-1. Yeah. Easily. And I'm like, yeah. why you, can't you I score? You, gonna you score. felt like if they just took one goal, <laughs> no, it would have been 4-0. <laughs> me, me and Michael watching the game, we're like, hey, United are about to score. Yeah. <laughs> it's I, it to, I, was it's it, I was watching it with my whole family, and my whole family was like, oh, United are going to score. And I was yeah. like... Yeah, I, I was wins. like... Oscar didn't want to get his heart set on a West Brom win, because he was like, no, I'm going to... Hope West Brom, yeah. and then that's when and they will concede. That's when they'll score. I was, I, was like, I was watching the game with. I was, like, I, was watching, <laughs> I was watching the game with Ernest, and it was oh, nil okay. nil, yeah. and he was like a bit worried. Up, it was the first half, and I was like, "Why are you worried? United are clearly going to win this game. It has United win written all over it. Yeah, yeah. Like I didn't, I, I just didn't get why he was so upset. But then, boy, no, I should be. Shot. I saw about twelve buses, by the way, <laughs> parked at yes at, at, that, at that Stratford end one yeah. half, and at the other end, the other half, West Brom defended. Yes. Oh my god. Talk about Tony Pulis, bro. That was defending on another level. Yeah, go on. But, uh, like I said, if you saw me on Saturday, yeah. you would have seen the rage that I had afterwards. Um, but I am, like, what's the like, top form down. Is it? Oh. Yeah. Is it, it though? Yes. What's the gap between you and Phil? Is four, it bro? though? Four it's points. Four <laughs> points. Level on level games. Everyone's played the same games. United are going to Palace. United also have Arsenal to play. Liverpool have then got to go against Chelsea at the bridge, but Chelsea have already won the title. Is top four done? I don't know. Oscar, I mean, check last week's pod. We were talking, Liverpool had the chance to beat Hull and West Brom. They'd be in the top four. Flop yeah, yeah, yeah. United lost three games in a row and Liverpool still haven't capitalised. If somehow, how many games are left? What, three. four? Three, yeah? Three games. If, if, if... Listen, they need to make up four points. <laughs> United three, have, yeah. Pal- oh, well, Palace has saved. Arsenal, we won the Palace game. away is and always your last game my, hope would be, my hope would be at least I'll, those I'll, games. I'll, 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 is it? Your last game's Hull? Oh, away, Hull? away. Hull might still be fighting for safety at that point. Bro. So, I'll be, all, listen, if... Uh-huh. They will be fighting for safety. Who have Liverpool yeah. got? Liverpool, Liverpool have Chelsea, Chelsea. I think... No, I don't but know. But none of the relegated... They've got the mid-lot. Let me check it out. Stoke is the last game away. 
I think they got they might have Newcastle or something there. I think they just played them, but yeah, now they might they got like teams that it doesn't really. Oh, you, yeah, you, you, you sticky, bro. For who United? United, bro. Um, I think, I think you know what? I, 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 just, I just can't see Liverpool beating Chelsea on the weekend. That's hey, the worst. Yeah, thing. that's the first problem. Yeah. Like, the first thing is that you don't see, see Liverpool winning at Stamford Bridge, yeah? But then Chelsea might go on the beach. I don't know. No, I hear that. I don't, I don't, don't think Did you, did you see what Bear in mind, Chelsea haven't lost the home all season. True. True. But Mourinho said that the guys are going to be on a break and have had a couple of days off. Then they're going to come back. But then to come back when Liverpool might have trained all week. You never know. Liverpool, no. Bro, if, okay, if, if Liverpool's, if Liverpool's remaining games are Chelsea this Sunday, May the 10th. They then play Liverpool. I mean, they're, <laughs> they then really? play Crystal Palace at home. Jesus. And on the last day of the season, <laughs> they are away so to Stoke. Stoke. So it's Palace as well they got. Yeah, I think it's... I yeah. think it's them. Dark. It's going to be tight because I feel like it might go down to the last day because I don't... <laughs> don't get me wrong. I see what you're thinking because I yeah. think United could potentially drop points at I Palace. I don't think United think are going to be... And I don't think United are going to beat Arsenal. No. Like, two draws would be enough. I don't if United beat... Oh, actually, no. Nah, Liverpool, it'll be done by then. It'll be done. Because I know if Chelsea... Liverpool, if Liverpool Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea want to beat Liverpool. I don't see Mourinho letting the Norway. But, yeah. Um, depends how they play. Now, yeah. on the times game. of your manager, yeah. the manager was basically saying what you just said. What's that? About how um, all of that stuff, watching this team that we should be up four one, and it's just it's not an issue of possession; it's just an issue of scoring. <laughs> and I was like, "It's like no, no, I was four just five one's not working, bro." I don't think it's the. I think the four five one works. It's just Rangers shouldn't be up front. <laughs> That's the issue. I mean, my you know I was forever have beef with Van Hal because look, <coughs> we, <laughs> there was a pod that we had here. The man spent a hundred and fifty million. Pounds. You don't do that to get into the top four, yeah. You do that to win the league. No, I'm not gonna lie. Even though you you're going for a transitional kind of thing going on, but, bruv, like, we all agree here that Van Hal made this situation a lot more difficult than it needed to be. Man United should be further up on points than they are right now. Well, everyone agrees that. But, the fact that, I mean, the, the, I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know where to start mm. with United. I can't. I, I can't even. I mean, I, I can't you even do. Begin. It's things like you do understand that. It was a tough job to take over. Yeah, definitely. And even definitely. spending 150 million, it doesn't magically mean everything's going to work out. No. But it's just the idea of losing games like Everton, that West Brom at home, like that if, bread if, and butter games yeah. that, that United team yeah. is good enough to beat. Yeah. It was those ones. That's that's what's it's like. true. I mean, Brendan Rodgers. We've been talking about how his job might be, you know, might be under under pressure, yeah, and he spent, I think, 100 million as well this summer. Yeah. And it's and, and and but that's why he's under pressure because the money he's put in a team which. Finished in the top four last year, top two last year. To where that's gone, I don't know how that yeah. how it's gone so wrong. And with United, I just feel like they can, they've got the players to make the top four comfortably. They've yeah. definitely got the players mm-hmm. to do that. They can challenge for the title. They can they challenge for the, I mean, yeah. look at the attacking. For, you're saying you know it's not about the possession. You're saying it's about us scoring goals. You got the players at your disposal. Oh, no, 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 it's, no, 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 it's no, almost I, insulting I, I, to I, hear I, that. I hear that. Because I'm actually a really a First of all, Matt is a think, good finisher. You, you have to think about it. Maria, what, is that? what you're saying <laughs> and how we feel about that. Yeah. We know we've got yeah, the players that yeah. can do that. And we're watching them not doing it. And it's just yeah. frustrating. It must be. So I'm like, I'm like. Bro, Rooney does not work. And that's why if you talk to a lot of United fans. You've talked to a lot of United fans, and they would, and you could ask them, "Would you mind Rooney leaving?" A lot of them would say no. I don't get, but that. I think that's crazy. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, I, yeah, so I don't know. Listen, 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 United fans would say that, but I don't get. They are saying that. Don't get me wrong. Bring him to the Emirates. <laughs> I will take him. In a he should have gone Chelsea when he had the chance. In a heartbeat, are you? Because the the only then you realise how sick Rooney is. No, no, honestly. We, oh no, we understand honestly. how sick Rooney is. No, but bro, how can you say that about Wayne Rooney? Say that, bro. I will take him. A seven Wayne of the Rooney. club. I yeah. said it's we need a finisher. It's not blind. I'll take him. The service he's giving Manchester United over the years. Bro, ten years. What he potentially is can still do. He's a goal scorer. No word of a lie. Him in him in midfield is a big. Big problem, and that, that's a sackable offence. You can't put players like that in midfield. That is, uh, and then put Fellaini, like, players like Fellaini up, up front. front. That's mm, sackable man. stuff. That's crazy stuff. That, uh, and I think this whole because I, I I really wanted Van Gaal to be a great manager, but he's proved he's like, he, he keeps showing me that he's not. Eighties. The fact <laughs> the fact that you're you're putting Di Maria on the bench so that we can use what David Moyes' tactic of passing the ball to Fellaini. 
that Chris Di Maria doesn't work in that system. Listen, I, I, I get, I get that maybe crazy. his form was a bit funny, but when you're playing that amount of money, you're playing every game. And you're playing <laughs> Rooney. In. If Ozil has 10 bags, he plays the next point. game. If we went back to the beginning of this season <laughs> and you were offered Di Maria 63 million, would you still take it? After knowing that he's just done yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Because obviously he's, he's still going to be at Man United for a few more years, but like this first season, oh, you I wouldn't say give it long. It. No, I, wouldn't I wouldn't give it long. long. If PSG, PSG knock on that door, you go in. Because I know, I know, so? I know PSG have interest, and I know that before he went to United, he had a he had a talk with PSG, but I, don't, I just didn't get the whole. Okay, I'm, I'm saying, was the was the was the purchase worth it? What who? Well, Di Maria. Maria. Oh, obviously not so far, but do you guys think it will come to fruition? No, listen. Let's not, let's, not, let's not get this twisted. This is the problem with short-term memory, yeah? Di Maria is a world-class player. Definitely. He's an, um, he was, what, player of the year last year in terms of helping Madrid win a Champions League. He was phenomenal. He's a phenomenal player. Yeah. He's a sick, sick player. No, let's not get twisted. He is a sick, sick guy. It's the same thing with the Ozil debate last year. Was he good enough last year? Did he, did he? <laughs> we got rid of him now. I'm looking at him thinking, what? What? How people think like, and it's the same thing with the Rooney thing. You've got to keep those players. You give it time. Let them nurture. Think, let them take time. No, no. I'm saying they'll be good. I'm saying a lot of United fans wouldn't mind, as in you might have as nice, in. I'm sorry. No, as in, as then in, who do you sign? Who do you then bring in? I'm, De Maria? I'm not saying. That. No, as in <laughs> speaking <laughs> on behalf saying, of them. Who do you, you take out Di Maria? Okay, fine. I'm you not might, saying I'm not saying Di Maria. You might, you might get 50 the, million. Issue, the issue. The issue is. Oh yeah, even Rooney, but yeah. The issue is. Sorry, we only need four players. Obviously, we're going to need another striker because Wilson, God knows what his injury is. Yeah. Oh, he's been injured this <laughs> whole time. He's been injured yeah. the whole time. And he has, a, he has an unknown return date. Yeah, of so, <laughs> yeah well, he's not back. But you've got Van Persie, Falcao and Rooney. Van Persie. And Hernandez, who's on loan at Madrid. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what... Hernandez not coming back. Unfortunately, Louis van Gaal just, just does not yeah, like doesn't, it. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Really. <laughs> he just does not like but it. But still, you have three of the best strikers in the Premier League in one team. In, in one team. team. And... At least, at least one of them is going. That is unbelievable. Possibly two. Oh, that is un- Van Persie. Look, no, I know, I know, I, I know you, you scummed us here, but I will accept man in a heart. You'd accept him back. Yes. Yeah. And Thirty yes. goals next season to win the league. Yes. In 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 yes. our team in our team now. <laughs> oh, Oscar. Oh, you know, yeah. you see, you no, see, no, no. Honestly, let me, let me in, this, this in this Arsenal let me, team now. Let me now, ask him yes. this question. Yeah, let me ask him. Oh, oh definitely. In this, this Arsenal, Arsenal team. team yes. Chelsea went five years without winning the league. You would take boring, boring Chelsea any day to win the league again, right? Yeah. You've gone five years, right? Yeah. You've gone ten. We've done eleven. Done 11 <laughs> right. So you'll take Nazri, Van Persie. Oh, no, 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 Okay, no, yeah, yeah, we've had this argument before. No, no he's not. Uh, I never he's not. Mad. He's he's mad. Mad. I, I, think, I, I do think Nazri is a more. However, talent. Um, <laughs> however, <laughs> yeah, uh, Van Persie has expressed his desire to finish his football at United. So, oh, <laughs> he, 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 do you know why he's saying that? Because he's, from here, it's only downhill. <laughs> No, he, like, man, he could come and win the league. Where's he gonna go? United Arsenal. is United is his peak now. He From go, here, it's downhill. He can go to Arsenal next season, play in the Champions League, win the league title, and no one's paying him much. Of the wages he's getting. Of course United not. Now. No, no, you, you have to humble yourself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, no one's paying. You think Arsenal? You think Arsenal didn't do that? Yeah. Sanchez and Ozil. Can, 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 can I ask a question about Van Persie? Go on. Has he necessarily had a bad season, or has it been like hampered by injury? The main the main issue of United is that we've had. A whole season of injuries. We've had the most injuries the entire season. Do you know what I hate? About, what I hate about United fans the year when Van Persie joined, yeah, was this thing like because he had an injury free year that year and he, he murked the league. Yeah, <clears throat> it was just like you know Arsenal. You know you need to look after your players better. Da, da, da. It's like well hold on, this is you're playing with a guy who's got like a horse placenta in his ankle. So don't worry, we'll come and back find it. A to horse placenta. Yeah, I know, he, he has something weird. He's one of the deadliest strikers in the Premier League today. One of the best, and that's why I said I'll take him back. No problem. I'll put fifteen million pounds. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll take him. But he's he's sick. He hasn't had a bad season. He's, he's been injured. That's a Ben Foster. He's, he's, he's been injured. He doesn't he's get injured. Been but yeah. Yeah, he's still better than Giroud. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's oh, right. the point. He's, 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 he's taken. Yeah. So, he's taken. My issue is with United is that I like Falcao as well. Take him on loan. <laughs> yes. Yes. What? Yes. Sanchez. <laughs> oh, hey, hey. Listen, oh, it's too much. My issue is that. Oh, good sign, you We have good football. There's no, there's no doubt about it. It's just finishing. I'm, see, I'm, see, I'm, I'm not with this. Yeah, this is what pisses me off when people say that no one challenged Chelsea because United 
and Arsenal and City have sick teams. Yeah, no, yeah, no, but no, ballers, Oscar, bro. Oh, no, 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 Exactly, yeah, taking on Bonnie. a nick on Bonnie and to, to to walk away with the league in that season. Anything. I'm proud, but oh, yeah, well done. Like I said, it's just what's the finish. Van Hal needs to be sacked. I said it. Okay, no, question. I said it. All are season. You, are you? We've we've said All on this season. pod for about the past three weeks. Top four is done. Is it done? Are yes. United going to make it over the line? Yes. They have to be punished, bro. The reason why I say they will is because <laughs> Liverpool and Tottenham are incompetent. They're not going to make it. Put, never put your faith in Liverpool. It will just never work. <laughs> Liverpool and Tottenham no, are two the teams. The pair of them are just incompetent cannot. teams. That's, and that's the reason why. Because United, the threat below United is not a threat. If United lose the top four spot, none of us will be like, oh yeah, Liverpool went ham. Oh, Tottenham went sick. No, we'll be cussing United. He will be right. cussing United from here till the end of the season. <laughs> that's that's what it comes down to. So yeah, 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 but still, you, you understand. But still, United don't, don't get that's top the fact, four. Bro. Bro. No, you man, no, need, hey, Liverpool listen. don't deserve top four. Listen, Oscar, but hey, United Oscar, might yeah, throw exactly. it away. No, but listen, so. they lost three games in a row and no one came to them. No one below. Well, top, well, top well, Liverpool, Liverpool did win at the weekend, and uh, <laughs> they they right. did beat QPR. Listen. Steven Gerrard with the winner. Exactly. Yeah, well, QPR will fight, and it was just it was a decent game. They're down. Gerard missed penalty, but he grabs the winner in the end. And Liverpool are still in this. And then they're going to go to Stamford Bridge, lay down after the guard of honour, and lose 3-0. They will lose. So, you know... Uh, United need I wouldn't mind the draw, you know. I would not mind the draw. You know. Say that again? Your, 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 your new deal kicks, kicks in um, this season, bro. Well, after this, sorry, there's 750, bro, from Adidas, bro. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. 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 Well, haven't they already spent that money on Di Maria? They, they did that last year. They spent, that money already got. <laughs> they spent all that Adidas money the last thing year. Is, we, we got the money back just due to we're just united on the financial terms. United are fine financially. I guess yeah. they'll be alright. Until the Glazers just say you don't get Champions League, you lose. Only, yeah, not without Champions League team. another year though. I don't nah, think they said yeah. they're not in the back Do you remember, nah, do you remember what Edward, Edward yeah. was talking that skein talk last summer and he was like, bruh, we don't need to go to Champions League in order to make to sign yeah, players. But I think that's one year. Whole two years. Two no years way. without Champions League. But, all I'm saying, I don't agree. I think it's a miracle they've got Farcar and Maria, but they are Manchester United, yeah. so they're gonna attract big players. But I think two two years, three years, hmm. You never know. You never know. Dude, uh, let's be honest. If Brendan Rodgers Oscar, no, Oscar, used that money wisely, Oscar. real talk, Oscar, then, I couldn't believe they signed Farca and Di Maria. And for that basis yeah, alone, I didn't believe it. I think United can go two years without the Champions League and still buy another player and, and buy a Cavani and buy whoever. They can still do it. Yeah. The fact that they did that in the last two years just defies logic. Manchester United away at Palace <laughs> this weekend. We'll so sh- we shall see how that one turns out. Anything Palace else you will, want to say? Will Palace lie down for it, or will they? No, man. They'll be they'll, whoever that guy is that keeps beating that drum. Do you know who won? <laughs> do you know who? Ri- <laughs> <laughs> who that brave is? Do you, know, do you know who will really want to play well? Who, Mister? Uh, what's his name? Wilfred the Wilf. Wilf, Wilf Zaha. Wolf Zaha. He will really want to Yannick play Yannick well. Velassi, Zaha. They would love to impress you in that Van Hal. That, that would, that's what I like about them kind of players. They do turn up anyway. But yeah, no goals. <laughs> In the, in the last three games, that's, that's the last thing I want to point, point out. No points is one thing, but no goals. No goals with Van Persie, Rooney, yeah. Falcao. What do you even say? To that? What do you even say to that? What do you say to that? Van Gaal <laughs> needs what to be you? sacked. No, he does. Yes, He's not and from sacked. day from day one, I never thought he was the guy. Moyes clearly is no different to Van Gaal. Okay, other than the fact that he went in the Champions League, but he spent 150 million to do that to finish fourth. Yeah. Um, also, I know I know we're not really going to touch on Liverpool too much, but mm-hmm. I just want to say. There, there was a plane flown over Anfield this weekend. Yeah, Rogers out. It's okay, it's one thing to have Rogers, Rogers out. out. No, no, it's one thing to have Rogers out. <laughs> <laughs> but Rafa in. Rafa in. How random like, is that? What? I'm yeah. like, yo, Klopp is hands free right now. He has no club. You, what are Liverpool? T- anyway. Okay, should Brendan go? Yes. He ran his oh. ass. No, he yes. Ass. He ran his ass too much. Yes. Hey, he tried no, to get yes. United. He oh, got oh. them to Oscar, second. To, Oscar, to stay in the prem, to be, to, to stay at the, if you're a manager, yeah, and you want to stay at the club, the reasons for you should be staying at the club is that, A, with the resources you've had, what have you done? Yeah. Based, yeah. You're based on that. But his team no, no, you're is based, pretty poor. And whose fault was that? He recruited that poor team. True. That's the end of that. Well, majority of it, yeah. No, no, that's, that's, that's how you base it. You base yeah, it on, yeah, on the resources you've got and where you were. 
And then you obviously he's had three years now. The first Liverpool manager not to win a trophy in three years. In his first three years at Liverpool. Liverpool have never experienced that before. Yeah, but he came closest to winning a bigger trophy. So I you say that, you say that, but look, Dalglish and Dalglish won the capital one and I think the FA Cup in, in a couple of years and he got sacked. He got yeah, sacked that I year. Dalglish was a poor manager. <laughs> I mean, he signed Suarez. Yeah, poor, he signed bro. Suarez, mate. So, do you think he knew who Suarez was? I, listen, <laughs> was, reckon it was just no, the scout was that guy. What's his name? Scout. Listen, was when it? they found out Arsenal was tapping it up, oh, they, they bro, yeah, just, but Arsenal's yeah, tapping yeah. up every player, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Deluded, Brendan. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, no, he deserves to get sacked. But I think if, if Liverpool give him another year, then I wouldn't be surprised either. I'll give him another year. With with what though? Do you trust him? With, do you trust him with money though? Really? You look at him since he's been at the club. Name yeah. the guys: Joe Allen. Jo- uh, Joe Allen's a good player. <laughs> he has hugs. He <laughs> shows a lot of character. <laughs> 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 character. Yeah, I'm sure that's what he's. <laughs> what he's, what he's brought out of Jordan Henderson is. I think good. I think I think we should we should have seen more of Ricky Lambert. I genuinely think Ricky Lambert is a much better player than what we've seen this year. Um, Balotelli, Barini. Um, yeah, but, but Ricky Lambert doesn't care. Ricky Lambert doesn't care. Yeah, he's like, oh, hey, there's a rumor he's gonna go to Chelsea. I want Chelsea wants to replace him. That is the worst rumor in the world. I've heard it as well. Oh, Ricky Lambert. I've heard it as well. Chelsea. The one who to replace Drogba. Oh, that's a good shout, though. I would take. So it. I'm saying now, Jose Mourinho does not want to replace <laughs> <play Lambert. laughs> right? well, What if Abramovich does? Huh? Abramovich might be looking up at him, thinking, "Oh, he was all right at Southampton. Oh, <laughs> and pull off another Shevchenko." But um, no. listen, Roger Rod- yeah, Rod- 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 I- I- or whatever that guy's name was, Ilori, yeah, Mignolet, uh, Sacco, Lovren, Moreno, Manquillo. Listen, I'm naming a lot of guys, Lovely. a lot yeah, of a lot guys. Mediocre, bro. Mediocre. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm talking a lot of dons. And Sterling's on his way out. It's listen, not, it's not looking good for Liverpool. My first problem as a Liverpool fan, if I was one, is that I don't trust Brendan Rodgers with money. Yeah, that's my first. Even if they give him two hundred mil, you're like, oh, he's gonna buy Southampton players again. Boy, listen, I understand his situation. He lost Suarez. <laughs> it's listen, by Klein and Bertrand. Bertrand. You got eighty-seven. You got like seventy-five or eighty million for it. Buy a fifty million pound striker. Just that's like it. two years just, ago. Just, just didn't that patch. Didn't Brendan Rodgers say that Glenn Johnson is the best fullback in Europe or something stupid like that? Listen, listen. Oh, Brendan. <laughs> I like him as well, but no. look, Brendan could lose three 0 in a match and say that his team was fantastic. He say he say his team was outstanding. And they showed great character. And they showed hyped. great character. That's exactly. Hyped. So you know, <laughs> and and then the, the, the best player in their team and he's there stunting on whether to sign him a new con- I mean, look. I mean, Gerard, Gerard's cutting us. For me, if, I, if, 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 I'm, if I'm a little, yeah, Liverpool you know, get relegated. Really <laughs> two people that need to get sacked is Brendan Rodgers and Mr. Van Gaal. Two, two guys need to get out. Of there. Oh, I'm not getting sacked. Pochettino, and Pochettino needs to be careful because he's getting a free ride as well at Tottenham. He's getting a very free ride at Tottenham. Anyway. I think one of their best managers ever. Who? For Tottenham? It's happened again. It's happened again. Tottenham Hotspur. It's happened again. Us is looking at me with contempt. Because Arsenal, Gassel, William Arsenal are, are trying to finish second in the Premier League. No, it's but true. But you guys like consistently fixate yourselves on Tottenham. It's like an older look, brother beating his little brother it's and being like, look, I just beat up my little brother. Yeah, no one cares. Listen, right? if Undertaker beats Kane again, yeah? No. Undertaker's making that noise. No. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Stop and the whole it. crowd are making a noise with him. No, it. it's a good analogy. It's a bad analogy. It's a good analogy. We are the Undertaker. They are Kane. Uh-huh. Yeah, hence the strike. Anyway, but um, yeah, no. Um, Ar- Arsenal, <laughs> <laughs> Arsenal um, um, I think, put Hull to bed. Robin, what did I say to you on Sunday when you said, oh, Hull will give us a tough game. Hull might beat you. I said, fam, we don't pet with these little guys, with these dead guys, bro. Hey, if no, you're in the top no, ten, no, no, I was, I was if you're in the top t- ten, I was, yeah, the, I, was, I was watching the first ten minutes of the game and I was like, what's Arsenal doing? And then when they scored, I was like, okay, they'll yeah. switch off. Because the first, no, the first, the first bit. Yeah, I, I, oh, mean, yeah, I was, yeah, I was yeah. like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it all, a bit here and there, yeah. a bit here and there. I I when you, and then when Alexis actually switched, and, then, and, that, and yeah. then when Alexis finally switched on, I was like, okay, cool. Game. No, but you know yeah, what? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, bro, well, listen, that first half. Yeah, I was like, whoa. Was I was that, like, whoa. Was that, whoa. <laughs> I, just, I just even phones me and he says, bro, I'm like, what, what, I'm like, yo, yo, yo. And I'm like, I'm like, look, this is, this is, Oscar, Oscar was saying something earlier about, you know, this thing of saying everybody fell asleep when Chelsea won the league. And you look at the teams that everyone has, you look at the players that everyone has. I saw this Arsenal side in, in, in the summer. I saw it this, in the summer and they didn't perform. <laughs> and it's frustrating that every year 
we're always chasing. Arsenal play well when we don't have to, and that that's what annoys me. When when, he, when like he if you look at we don't if you look at Arsenal squad, yeah, like a first eleven, it's so good. And then on the bench, you've got so much more coming off it. I remember looking at the Chelsea and Arsenal game yeah. when we played each other this yeah. like recently, yeah. and I was like. On the bench, Arsenal have players that can come off the bench and win the game. Win the Chelsea game. don't really have that. Yeah. And it's like, no, so the, the way they perform oh, this season man, is, a bit, is a bit shambolic. Especially in the Champions League, Which for me. Uh, the, the fact that Arsenal went out to Monaco. Yeah. That's the easiest tie. Oh, what a joke. Yeah. Imagine anyway. we could be playing with Real Madrid right now. You know, we could be playing Real Madrid. Bro, I don't care, bro. <laughs> I think it's a lose, bro. Um, yeah, no, uh, yeah, look, that, you lot are going to tell me about how good Arsenal were, mate. That's the Arsenal team I've, I, I, I've, no, we do I always this thought, year, I always bro. thought we were going to see at the beginning of the year. We but, do this every oh, year, bro. You know, like, when the pressure's off, that's when we start to play football. I mean, injury, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now you, like, you want to finish second. No, it's true, it's true. But at the same time, you know, injuries are, are massive. Let me show you a stat here that I saw, and I, and I couldn't believe this when I saw it, yeah? In the Premier League season this year, right? Uh, sorry, this season, as in 14, 15 season. Players that have played 25 or more appearances, yeah? Mm-hmm. So, each cl- it talks about each club, how many of their players have played 25 games or more. Chelsea, 11, yeah? That's the highest in the league. Joint highest with Palace and Southampton and Swansea. They've all had 11 players um, play over 25 games. Man United, with all their injuries, have had six players play over 25 games. Arsenal have had five. And in the bottom, that's second bottom with Hull with four. Second, so we've not had that. T- we've not had a team that's played a lot of games together all season. I don't think who is that five? Huh? I don't think who is that five? Mertesacker. Yeah, Mertesacker. Alexis. It's probably Mertesacker and Alexis. Alexis was injured. Nah, yeah, Alexis, but he would have played Alexis, 25. Alexis yeah. would have played 25 by now. Um, Alexis, Santi Cazorla, Mertesacker. Let's go with. Um, who else is there? It's a good question. That's probably. That's probably. Drew, it. How long was Drew Three, three months. Drew hasn't played 25 he missed from games. August to December. Okay. Maybe so Welbeck. It would be shocking if Welbeck got 25 yeah, he might. Because he's, he's, he's played a lot. Interesting. He's, he's had a good contribution this year. I'll give it to him. But, um, yeah, no, I like... I like. I probably, probably that's feeling probably at 25 right now. I'm joking. Yeah, man. I mean, you've got players that, like, that don't even make the first team. Like, Question. Yes. Do you agree with what Thierry Henry said? Didn't we do this last week? Um, no, but you said it no, again. Did you, you said it again. I mean, oh, yeah. my, it. <laughs> my contradiction with Thierry was that two, three weeks ago against Liverpool, I think we were playing Burnley. We were playing Burnley, yeah? And I think he was referring to the Liverpool game. He said, look, Giroud's one of the most underrated strikers in the league. Blah, 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 blah. Right? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, f- thank you. Then he says that he can't win the league with Giroud up front. Well, I disagree. Dave, I still, I still disagree. Yeah, Dave's Dave, 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 screaming. Dave, Dave, not good enough. But do you know why we haven't won the league? It's not because of the lack of goals. It's not this year. He Last year, that yeah, that was the case. Not this year. Oh my! This year, everyone can tell you uh, the defense was awful. Went, went, went in with two centre f- backs. Yeah, two se- that DM thing situation until Cockland came and saved the day. <sighs> that was our problem for the league this uh, year. Now when goes here, chat rubbish. Uh, I'm going to be cautious here. No, 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 five players, bro. Uh, this is what I love. That's what I love that interview because he said we've got the numbers now. Quality, bang. So he's only going to be signing players that are going to go for the first Bob, team. I want check. I need a goalkeeper. I'll take Cassius as well. We need so a goalkeeper. Yeah, you there's a rumour like that. Think, I want oh, check goal. Wenger did say Ospina is the best goalkeeper no. in the league. She, yeah, he is. But Shed <laughs> needs to walk right out. In terms of Shed goal, no, no, have you seen his stats? No, seriously. This, what? No, statistically, Ospina has been no, the best. No, I don't care about statistics. No, he hasn't even played a full 38 game. So I don't care about Fair enough, fair enough. But from January to now, he's been the best keeper in the league. In terms of statistically. Oh, I wish I could get into Chelsea, it. Chelsea, we can see the eight goals since January. Listen, you, you check Ospina's stats to shit. It's oh, mate, they're, they're incredible. No, no, He's no. not the best keeper in the league. Oscar's Arsenal need a better keeper. No, Oscar, I'm not Don't gonna, let Wayne gas you. Arsenal need a better keeper. Hear what I'm saying. Hear what I'm saying. Is that... Uh, why, why do you think we're still talking Czech? We're talking Czech. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. talking... Sure. So I don't want to hear that, Ospina. No, no, no. What I'm saying, Chelsea needs to walk out, meaning Ospina needs to get challenged, right? And if Czech comes in, he's going to definitely challenge Ospina. But Spina will still be number one until Ooh. until he flops. Yeah, check will be sit. Check will be sitting no on the bench until. Anyways, <clears throat> Arsenal beating Hull. Hull in the relegation zone. A couple of teams in that fight. Um, Burnley and QPR down. Yep. Is that is that is that is that is that it's more done, done? I, I love Burnley. They're Burnley, why down. do you do this to me? Burnley got one. Is it is it they've scored one in in nine or something like that? They got one point in nine. Something crazy like that. But they're relegated by, by Burnley. Yeah, they're, they're, on the, they're on the way out. I mean, if you can't beat Leicester, you're on your way out. Simple as that. Um, 
Who is staying up then? Because you've got Sunderland, you've got Hull, you've got Newcastle, you've got Leicester and Aston Villa probably. Uh, Villa are staying up. Villa yeah. are staying up. Villa are staying up. I said up. this again. Villa are that team that everyone says every year that they should be in the championship. But at no, the end... Paul, if they were with Paul Lambert, they're... No, I'm they're, saying, they're but I'm league. saying, but at the end, they always survive. No, and that's why no, I like Aston Villa. It's because of Tim Sherwood. Bro. Tim Sherwood, bro. But Villa are not supposed Sherwood's to be relegation. Okay. They're not supposed to be in that level. I mean, they went through... They're that, above that. They went, no, True, but they went through that thing of... They literally, everyone was 20 years old last season that they played. Like, Villa is like Newcastle. <laughs> they should they shouldn't be in this fight, but they're just poor. <laughs> you mentioned Newcastle losing 3 0 away at Leicester. Well I mean, done, Leicester. How embarrassing is that? Bro? Well done, Leicester. Newcastle, I don't know, it's an embarrassing, yeah, really it's an embarrassing situation. It's so embarrassing. Like, to, cause it's, I love Newcastle, man. I've got, I've got love for the Newcastle, but mate, their manager is taking the mick. I don't know. John Carver's having a laugh. He's, he, what did you guys think about Williamson sending off? No, he was stupid, bro. <laughs> Did he that do it on purpose? Ridiculous <laughs> challenge. Was, but no, dumb challenge. He's I'm going sorry. off. The ball is going they were, off. They were there off the pitch. No need to make When that the run. contact was made, they were both off the pitch. Both of them were off the pitch when he made the contact. Yeah. I, I see why John Carver said what he did. What? Say, he you can't like, say that. It was like, he looked like he did it on purpose. Because he did. Carver, the issue I have for Carver is too much passion and no brain. Mm. Like, you got to be smart. You usually, you know, you be professional, be smart. I understand. You love the club. We get it. We get that you love the club. That's, just leave it at that. Do you know what I mean? But Leicester City, uh, three 0 winners. Do you reckon Leicester will stay up? Yeah, probably. Yeah. It'll be the shock. It'll be the shock. You think they'll be the shock of the of the thing? I'd love to see thing go down though. Newcastle just for oh, the, new, just yeah, for the banner. Newcastle. Newcastle. Depends on Sunderland, man. Oh, Sunderland. Nah, come got on, guys. They're a big club. You can't. Yeah, they they depend depend on Sunderland. Sunderland. They've been relegated before. You thought they would learn from that time. Yeah, but you know what? They're a big club. Sunderland still got to play Arsenal away, and uh, is it Chelsea away? Chelsea's the last. Your last game of the season is Sunderland, right? At home. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah so it's on the list. <laughs> nah, Sunderland's down. I'm even gonna get. There's no, no. They can't survive again. So they, they, they had the same issue last year. I think they had Chelsea and Liverpool. I think, I think it's either Hull or Newcastle. So I'm going down. Yeah. Not Sunderland. <coughs> if Probably, they, no, they maybe. still got Newcastle. They got sorry, Arsenal and Chelsea away, bro. Chelsea Who's they got next? Uh, no, it's not. Sunderland, Sunderland. I think are playing. South- they beat Southampton. Yeah, actually. Beat That's a, that was actually quite a shock. No, I think about it. They beat Southampton, but I think they've got Leicester. I think they got one of the, one of the lot that, that they need to fight. They got one of the the, no, the ones that they need to fight. Have Leicester. Do no. they? Is it Cooper have Cooper have finished somewhere? I remember they played one of the relegation games. Well, that's interesting. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. But um, I don't know. Other than that. <laughs> <laughs> How funny would it be though if Newcastle did go down? It will be hilarious. But anyway, those no, that will be replacing like them. I <laughs> would like that. Those replacing them though. Well done! Well done! Well done! as well. They what, <laughs> but well done, Bournemouth. Not only Shout out to Bournemouth. Listen, I, you know what? I ain't gonna lie. This is probably the one year where the teams that are promoted, I'm like, mm, none of you lot are a threat next season. Yeah. Watford <laughs> and Bournemouth are gonna struggle. So badly. I want to see. The thing is, yeah. I think once Burnley go down, my new love will be Bournemouth. <laughs> Are they the new? Lo- they will be the new love next season, <laughs> they, though, won't they? they yeah, will yeah, everybody will love Bournemouth. Everyone's going to love Bournemouth, just you know, <laughs> apart from maybe Southampton, who are like rivals. I bet there's some rivalry between them two or some kind of yeah. something like that. But um, I want to go to some Watford games next season. Just like up the M1. Why? Because it's up the M1. I just said so? it. So it's, it's, it's not long at for the me. playoffs as well. It's a short. Do you know what happens? We could have for the first time ever. A team in southwest London coming to Brentford. Who? Brentford. The first time ever. What's Chelsea then? No, they're still. They're still. I mean, like, their postcode is S W. They have to be six, but definitely literally, you're on the road. Their, pe- their postcode is S W. Yeah, but you cross the road anywhere. It's just distant. No, but I'm talking. I'm talking proper southwest That's London. What, Brentford. And that, they're yeah. really their manager so, for the So it's not southwest anyway. London. It's just southwest to your standards. <laughs> yeah, to my standards. No. Oh wow. <laughs> this, is like, this is this is deep. Like. In that um, area, I'd oh, like no, to no. see. Do you know what I, I, I would not mind Brentford, but I'm just here mind there. Ipswich. Oh, hell no. Nah, Brentford, I don't want none uh, of those uh, East Anglia uh, lot. <laughs> I want either. Um, I wouldn't Brentford. mind Borough, though, man. I ain't seen Borough for a long time, bruv. Memories, man. Nah, it's fine. They've done what they need to do. <laughs> it's fine. Patrick Manfield got player of the year. That's what I wanted from Borough this season. I don't know. <laughs> we go over there. We've Middlesbrough. Them. Like I said, I wouldn't mind it, so we haven't seen them. We've seen Middlesbrough in the league before. We've seen them. will never give us. Sunderland's away game is Everton next. Long. Leicester's playing Southampton at home. Long. 
Hull are playing Burnley at home. Long. <laughs> yeah. Newcastle at home to West Brom. Long. Hull would take themselves out of that one. Oh, it's all long for now, you know. Oh, we're on Monday again. Yeah. Bloody hell. It's a Swansea. Oh, that, that's fine. Another Monday night show. But yeah, um, who's we talking about? Yeah, um, Brentford. Yeah, yeah. No, you'd love, you'd love to see Brentford up there. Bournemouth, Brentford, Watford. You'd want all three of them to stay up. That's how weird that would be. Yeah. And then you'd want well, you'd get rid of that, Newcastle, <laughs> Sunderland. Sunderland. Oh. Vill- oh, Villa, you're so lucky you got Sherwood. Can I say <laughs> Villa as well? Um, but I'd like to see if someone like Stoke just goes because you don't annoy me. Who's like 12th, 11th? Teams that just waste our time. I think it's Bournemouth. Oh, they're all right. Can't be that. Like, they're all right. I'll just oh, well. Who would have thought that Pepe Mel side all of a sudden is still in the Premier League? That's weird, isn't it? But, um, yeah, yeah, no, uh, it, it looks good. It looks good. The playoff winners, I think, will be... I think it will be Norwich. And that's the one team I don't want in the Premier League. <laughs> that's again. a trip. If there's one guy <laughs> team I don't want, it's them. It's such a trip. What, to Norwich? Yeah. For United, yeah. <laughs> not, for Arsenal, not for Arsenal. Even Arsenal, because it's not, it's not such a direct route. East England, man. Wait, Ipswich is not long. You jump in Stratford, catch that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> saying Ipswich, but Norwich is as well. But, but Ipswich and Norwich are like the, the same. <laughs> <laughs> like it's it's, it's long. The point is, I don't want to go there. I don't, it's I don't, so, I don't it's want to go to Carrow so Road. Long. <laughs> but you, you go Borough, yeah? You know, you know, to I said I don't want Borough here either. I want Brentford, fam. What, you want to walk to the ground? It's local. No, because Josh can just walk to the ground. Maria would just be walking through full of Broadway. It's all the way down there. Yeah, yeah, I've landed. But yeah, that's, you know. It's good to see Bournemouth up. Their parade was hilarious on the beach. That was yeah. so funny. That was just so funny. Anyhow, we'll see him next season. He'll probably be tired of the new Brendan Rodgers, get a job like Liverpool, and then do poorly anyway in two years' time. So, it's the oh, cycle, of, say that. cycle of British managers. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 come on, Bournemouth. I want you to stay up for at least one season. And then you but how did Wolves and Derby come out of this situation? I don't know. Derby oh, was part Darby, of yeah, the same Darby Darby story with Derby every year, though, isn't it? <laughs> They're the same story. Every year they're, they're coming in. They're so close. You want them to come up. I really want them to come back up. But ah. I don't know why. But like, four and the thing is, Derby is such a convenience for everyone because they're in the middle. Derby's a trek, man. No, because you got you got Manchester. So you got both Manchester. You got London here. And Derby's like right in the middle, so everyone just drives down. Yeah, like three, three like, years yeah. ago, I generally thought Will Hughes was going to be like the best English player ever. Will and he, it, oh yeah, it just Hughes. it just didn't really work out, did it? No, it hasn't. Well, there you go. Um, should we talk Champions League? Let's go to. By the way, who, who, oh, so we all agree we want Brentford, right? In the, in the, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Let's anyway. go to Italy. Some children. Oh, and uh, yeah, oh, the we're old... going to Europe or Italy? Oh, well, I'm going to the same place. Champions League, man. Uh, Champions League. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Juventus 2 1 winners yesterday, uh, last night against. Uh, Juventus. Well against done. Well, well done. Well done. done. Nah, well Juventus done. Oh, yeah, yeah. In, that, like, in the first 20 minutes, I'm watching this game, I'm like, yo. I thought it was. I don't know. I was like, yo. I don't know. I thought you. I thought Madrid were better over the throughout the course of the game. Whoa, Whoa. that's not Whoa. true. I'll tell you why. <clears throat> Take away like, the hype of the crowd and all that kind of thing and all that jazz. Juve, um, the, the first goal which came out of nothing was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah but Juve played the game. I'm thinking Juve is. I think Juve is ducking. That Sorry, they played the game and not the occasion. <laughs> yeah, but like you saw how many yeah. chances Real Madrid had and you thought, oh my god, if this was this, like the play was so good and it was. They, like, oh, I, I did that. Juventus had more chances. Really? No, I'm saying Juventus. No, Juventus had more chances. Did they? Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Juventus had more chances. Yes, they did. I barely remember that. But I'm saying Real Madrid's chances were like. Oh, like they were so close, and because they've got a better quality of players, you're expecting them to score more yeah. often than, than you, but, but oh, Madrid's goal was amazing! Yeah, like. Ronaldo, oh, like, what a goal! Great football, great football. But no, the build up, everything. Juventus turned up, and they didn't players. even have their best players. Cellini's not even, yeah, I mean, I was like, you know, they did it well. I was, I was, I was like, sorry, some Italian, defenders, something to like, oh, no, if they don't, they're, 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 they're at a premium, no one signs Italian defenders because that is. Forty million per head, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> you gotta say no. They, they're, wow, they're very well. They're very good. They do. No, they do. Cellini is not even a mess. Bell, Bell, wow. Bell was getting a bag from them defenders. <laughs> no, did like, you see what Cellini did to Ronaldo, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man yeah. was like, "Cow," but you just said, "Nope." Nah, boy, I'll, tra- I'll chop you down, bro. <laughs> I mean, you chopped him, bro. Nah, you know those Italians know how to. T- they know how to defend. You know, they're, they're famous for that defending. But um, I, I, I'm worried that if they play that exact same way at the Bernabeu, they go out. They, they need to get a goal at the Bernabeu, which might be... Uh, is it likely? I don't know. Well, it's quite Sergio likely. Ramos in the midfield. 
Yeah. <laughs> no, but yes. Ramos was like can the player of the, no, the Tigers. Before we talk about Ramos, can we please all agree that Fuck. Marcelo should not be in the middle? Oh, oh mate. <laughs> Marcelo was what? terrible. Marcelo was had a mess day. <laughs> he, was, <laughs> he was poor. Marcelo, he was be awful. Why is he in um, midfield? No, no, he was he was at left back, but oh. oh my god, you thought he was in midfield. He was awful. He, was, okay. he had a poor, a Talk terrible shot, which led to shots were bad. Which led to passing was bad. His crossing was poor. You know what I'm saying? He was getting skinned by their players. Ah, oh, it was it was a bit. Mm, it was a, it was a bad performance. Even Carvajal had a bit of a shocking game. Carvajal. Oh, uh-huh. Carvajal. Both, both, both well. Rodriguez. Both yeah. Them. Yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's one of them ones where like. <laughs> who's two? Is I said there's only one. There's Jesse and. Jesse. Uh, okay, who's going through? I like I said. Um, like I said, I think. I think. Um, Juventus has been about a lot. No way, man. No way, Madrid. No, if you if you if it's a thing of. If if you tell an Italian team, right, you need one goal, and then you defend. Well, that is it. When was the last time an Italian team won the Champions League? Then no, it's been a while. It's been a hot exactly. minute. Exactly. And yeah, I, Madrid I just need to win one 0 and they're through. Yeah, exactly. I, I think Madrid. Will no, no, no. If they if, they, if Madrid score one, it's no, it's three. No, no. Madrid go through. Madrid go through on the way goes. The thing. This is what I was saying. It depends what Juventus turn up in the second leg, yeah. Because in the first leg, it's easy to be all like, yeah, you know, we're pumped, we're ready for this. Bit, they'll shut up shop no, and do all that. They'll, 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 they'll things, defend really the two well. Things but I, I worry about is this. Okay, first of all, uh, by the way, before we move on to that one, what was it like watching Vidal play <laughs> yesterday? No, no, no. I wasn't even looking. I was, <laughs> oh even, I was looking at Evra, and I was like, I miss Evra. You miss Evra. I miss Evra, <clears throat> and I was like, Why is he still talking about Man United? Isn't it? Shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> shut up. Yes, out, Evra. Oh, 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 yeah, I was like, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, press, uh, after the match, I asked him about you know him and Tevez. You know, you know Tevez was a brilliant players, and he was like, "Yeah, with United DNA." Shut up! Like, <laughs> like, yes. No one cares. Yeah. Yeah. United, 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 United. He played for but City. Tevez played for Man City. No, no, no. no, no, City no, as well. no, 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 no. The thing yeah. is, he, every, every United fan, so every United fan was like, to, to everyone was like, "Yes," but, and it was like, "Don't include Tevez." Yeah, everyone he was held like, up Don't a banner that said Fergie is dead. Yeah, everyone, all the United fans was like, don't talk to us about Tevez. We just want to hear from you, Evra. But, um, but Evra, we Evra, have United Evra, Evra, we salute if, you. If, if Pogba, <laughs> if Evra Pogba is fit you. next weekend. No, how are you mad let Pogba go, bro? If Pogba is oh, fit next week. No Did you see Pogba in the stands? Did you see Skulls cussing Pogba in, in, a, in a indirect way? Because okay. I think Lee Dixon was like, you know, how'd you get rid of, uh, where do you want, like, no. The presenter of the show, I forgot his name. He was like, you know, you let, you let go of Pogba. Da, 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 da. He goes, yeah, it wasn't good enough. He just kept it moving, and he kept the conversation moving. And breaking it, he wanted to discuss the matter. It was so <laughs> awkward and funny. But did you just see like, Pogba in the stands? He looked like a complete rock star. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he had, like, had a blood he streak in his hair, hair. <laughs> leather jacket. He's loving the the footballers' oh, life. <laughs> he's proper if, if loving he comes it. Comes to England, he has to get rid of that. Boy. Also, on on the ITV coverage, Roy Keane did say that. Real Madrid played with 10 men because yeah, Gareth Bale Bell, was just yeah. not no, Bell got, Gareth Bale was not Bell existed. got put on <laughs> smash there was a moment where I think when Chilini busts his head I think he's he sandwiches Bell in between him and somebody else and then they literally all just they all clash heads like yeah. that and Chilini is just like yep I need a plaster whereas the rest of them were like for flips that's a foul he's just there like this is what I do bread and butter stuff he was wearing a shirt full of blood I thought you have to change that he did like, he changed no it. but he still had blood yeah. in his shirt because it was like, still dripping probably still dripping I was like no, change Italians, that again. Italians know how to defend and uh, you know what let's not get hyped they do this, 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 they thing, do. this is the thing though it's, it's one game it's the only game we've seen them play hype good good defending football all season no one else has watched them play this season and say yeah 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 the Italians don't get me wrong they are good at the top, isn't it, no my point is this it's like hater, hater. no I'm not a hater <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a hater. I like, hater I like consistency hater. if you're consistent then I, I give it to you uh, if they do it again at the Bernabeu then what we'll have something to say like, well, I mean then we don't see when they play Barcelona or Bayern Munich do you get what I'm saying? It's still yeah. got another trial to go through. Then they team, teams have them. won the Champions League by parking the bus. I don't know which teams, <coughs> but Mourinho's some teams, teams have done that before. All of Mourinho's teams. Not really. Yes. Uh, the, the teams that have won the Champions League. Did you, have you, did you watch the Porto season when they won that? Did you see Inter Milan when they parked nah. it against Barcelona? I think it, anyway. In, in it won it to Inter. Um, yeah, if Pogba plays and they play, <coughs> if, if they nick a goal at the Bernabeu, and then they, then they go the through. <laughs> if they if they score at the Bernabeu, they go through. But I don't see them scoring at the Bernabeu. I see them scoring at the Bernabeu. If Ramos, see, if Ramos, Benzema, if Ramos is in back as well. Nah. If, Ra- if Ramos is in that midfield, they're gonna score. I don't know. <clears throat> I see Madrid going through over two legs. I see Juventus. I see Oscar I see an Italian. I said it. I see an Italian Spanish final. 
No, Real Madrid are going to retain the Champions League for the first time ever in history. And it's going to be great because Ronaldo is going to be the, the, the winner of Bayern and Barcelona will win the Champions League. <clears throat> anyway, but Barcelona and Bayern Munich tonight, what do you reckon the score will be over there? Barcelona. Oh, Barcelona's ground. I just, I just want to see a spectacle. Game. I couldn't even tell you. It's such a game. Couldn't even tell Bring you. Score line. Bring Barcelona. Score line. Three nil. Three nil. It gets Bayern. Lord. And then what? Bayern overturning the second leg. No. Oh. <laughs> 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 like, it gets I I'm sorry. They're different. I just, that pitch is big, bro. I don't know how. Bar, how Who's Bayern home first? Like. Barcelona. 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 But you just tonight. remember the last oh, time that. Good. The remember the last time that Bayern went for Barcelona. Yeah, but it's what is there, Robin? Huh? Is there Robin Ribery? I need them no, back. They're all out. They're all out. Oh, oh no, that's it. That's it. That's, that's it. That's it. That's it's all right. So so if you weren't there, then boy. Like the, the, the likes of Lewandowski, Thomas Muller. Lewandowski, they can uh, score. Lewandowski was injured as well. He got injured. No, but he's, he's playing with the mask. He's doing, he's doing the Fabregas thing. <laughs> What's why is it with his mask? It's just, it's, oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand. It's, it's only been like the last three years. Like everyone has a mask. I remember oh, Torres, Torres had a mask. <laughs> yeah. They have a bad one. Yeah. I'm sure there's been others, but... Coquelin had one this year. It was so annoying. But yeah, Lewandowski is playing the mask. Fabregas starts with it and so takes it off. this is when Twitter thought it would be funny. So they dress Lewandowski in Batman and Messi in Superman. <laughs> <laughs> and he takes the clash tonight. Nah, Barcelona uh, will take that. They'll, 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 nah. they'll, they'll smash it. I have, a certain, I have, a, I have a certain love for Mr. Muller. I just think he's such a funny player. He's, he's a good player, man. Sick but player. He's, he's so sick. But Bayern, I, I don't think Bayern will crumble tonight. I don't know, I think Pep, they will get to Pep, man. I don't, I don't see him making it happen. If anyone knows how to beat Barcelona, it would be him, wouldn't it? No, I don't know. Not that machine, Not bro. really. Player of the week? Benteke. Good shout. Good shout. Very good, good shout. Good shout. Good, good, good shout. Nah, the assist Shouted. of the week, yeah. I would say the first time my ass got to Facundo, man. Fam, that ball? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Facundo's ball was mental. I, <laughs> I do got to say, another shout for player of the week, Ojoa. Scored yeah. twice in Leicester's round. Oh, 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 I, I had an, um, what's the name? A newer in my head. I was like, what the hell did he do? He lost at <laughs> Liverpool. Well, he got sent off. Nah, man. I think Benteke is still for me. Not yeah. even Alexis Sanchez, baby. <laughs> Alexis <laughs> Sanchez. Oh. I remember that try so silly. Um, yeah, no. Um, nah, I was still I was still Benteke. Benteke. That was a flick or something else. But anyway, um, team of the week. Leicester. <laughs> Um, Leicester are a shout. Leicester, West Villa. Brom? No? Boy, they just defended. West, Brom, West Brom's a good shout. I'd, I'd say Chelsea. They secured the league title. We're team of the year. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. That, fine that's fine. for that award. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll have grabbies. We'll we'll awards grabbies. at the end of, end of the season anyway. Um, okay, so team of the week. Um, we, we did very well. Thank goodness, Leicester. Who played better than Arsenal this weekend? Leicester. Did they, yeah? I would say I would say Villa as well. Okay. Villa know. Villa didn't lost the game though. It was rocky. That was a rocky no, okay, game. We'll give it, right, I'll give it to Leicester then. You give it to Leicester? Oscar? Uh yeah, Leicester's a good shot. Robin? Leicester. Well, Swansea won as well. I'd say Arsenal, but yeah, they beat Stoke. They beat Stoke. It could just further extending the points. <laughs> like, yeah. The record points. Tally. Yeah. Gary Monk is well, Gary Monk. Manager of the year. Oh, manager of the year, Gary Monk. Oh, manager of the year. But, it's um, going to go to Comer. But um, yeah, no. Um, I guess, guess we've got to do thingy. Yeah. So you're saying Leicester. We all agree Leicester. Well, I said yeah. Arsenal, but Leicester it is. Uh, goal of the oh, week. Oh, do you know what goal was so sick? For me. Aguero's yes. goal was amazing. I was going to say that. Exactly what I was going to say. Oh, White Hollands. So Unbelievable. Goal. Finish. Finish. put that near post, bro. You know what I'm saying? What are you saying, Robin? Cooley. Sergio, yeah? Cooley. Oh. Uh, who's not that guy this week? The whole Manchester oh, United. No. <laughs> <laughs> United. I think there's worse ones, though. I think Williamson's tackle. Williamson's tackle was, was hilarious, just, right? I think that deserves it. Newcastle finished with nine men, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah man gets sent off as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nine men, I didn't even so know that. Yeah. That was right. so funny. Okay, then that's just... <laughs> like, I don't know what's happening at Newcastle still. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like the only, oh. yeah... Hey, sports director yeah, is not good. He's not that guy. Bro. It's not. It's really not. You're not that. Like, it's just like you've decided to rename St James Park. <laughs> like arena. You got forty four million in the. Do you know, like, do you know when he made that decision? There must have been at least ten people saying this is not a good idea. <laughs> We're gonna name rename St James Park the Sports Direct <laughs> Arena. <laughs> Like oh, how? How? Feel how? So sorry oh. for my Newcastle. Could you imagine? Right there, man. Could you imagine? Could you imagine Old Trafford? 
being called the Adidas Arena. Sorry, I know Arsenal fans, they've already got that because the Emirates hold have on, taken that. Don't worry, don't worry. It makes nah, sense. Nah, you said it's been bought. You said it's been bought, yeah? It's been bought. It's not Arsenal, it's the Emirates Stadium, yeah? It's owned by the Emirates. It's the Emirates Stadium. It's owned by the Emirates Stadium. It's the Emirates Stadium. Trust me, Stamford Bridge will always be Stamford Bridge. Yeah, it's not going to be. We'll see about that. It better not be the Gazprom Stadium. Yeah, it probably will be. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm sure he's got a stake in that. Apparently, yeah. he's got a stake in Gazprom, yeah, surely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, no, I don't finish, bro. Ah, I don't like that. Finish, then, yeah, finish, sure. since you've come in, yeah, do you, right. since you bought Newcastle, yeah, you sat Keegan, you made Keegan walk away, you got relegated. Oh, now, nah, but Keegan was terrible, yeah. You, then you got rid of Chris Hooten. <laughs> then you got rid of Padiola, made him quit. You know lost is? eight games in a flipping row. You have that guy. <laughs> And if you don't sort it out, you're gonna get relegated. <laughs> no, no, no. How do you lose eight games in a row? Huh? How do you lose eight games in a row? Eight. <laughs> eight. Eight. Oh. How do you lose eight games in a I'm row? I'm sure Burnley ain't done that. So no. I'm sure everyone. Oh, that's like the worst eight. record. Eight, bro. Newcastle eight. sort it out. Eight. Oh, mate. That's like two months of games. <laughs> you just lost every one. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, my my mother must still getting paid. You know. Do you want to see who they got next week? Oh my god, they're at home to West Brom. That's a defeat as well. Oh. All right, let's start off. Saturday, 9th of May, 12.45 kickoff. Everton at home to Sunderland. Oscar. Oh, I couldn't care less. Um, Everton win. Everton. 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 Full house. Uh, Stoke at home to Tottenham. 3 o'clock kickoff. Tottenham win. That's a way win. Draw. Draw. Stoke win. Stoke. Stoke. Uh, Leicester that's City. Gonna happen again. Leicester City um, at home to Southampton. Ooh, Oscar. Ooh, a draw. Draw. I do want a Leicester win. I'm going Southampton. Leicester. Leicester. Uh, Hull at home to Burnley. Oscar. Um, Hull win. Draw. Draw. Hull. Burnley. Wow. You can Burnley at Hull. Newcastle at home to West Brom. West Brom 3 0. <laughs> West Brom. Can I go with that? West Brom 3 0. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna. Ju- I'm gonna join Oscar on that one. Yeah, West Brom. Yeah, full house. West Brom away win. Haston Villa at home to Haston Villa. Haston Villa at home to West Ham. Uh, Cla- to clash of the Clarets. West Ham are on holiday, as we've already discussed. Um, they won last week though. They beat Burnley. All right, Thanks to Mark Noble penalty. But Burnley. Oh, harsh. Man, I like Kwate because he looks like me. But um, <laughs> <laughs> so if anyone wants to know what Oscar looks like, check out Kwate. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my god, that's so hilarious. Yeah, but I think. Who's who's name the teams again? Villa at home, home to West Ham. Yeah, I think Villa will win. Robin? Tim Sherwood. Tim Sherwood, yeah. Villa. Villa. Full house on Villa. Palace at home to Manchester United, five thirty kickoff. Draw. I can't see United winning this game. Bring, 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 but they will. Bring, they will. Bring, bring, bring. That's how they start off with their games. Bring, 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 bring. So United. Sort it out. Alright, sort it out. Are are gonna, I, w- I wish. Are you gonna no, are you gonna win? Oh, we're gonna win. If United don't win, if you don't, don't win, I will actually because I don't. I will actually get on that overground train that goes directly. Oh God! <laughs> to <laughs> Crystal Palace. <laughs> 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 I will travel. Wait at the train station. <laughs> I will travel to train station. For these I'll be like, Louis, what are you doing? <laughs> no, we're gonna win. We're gonna win. Uh, I think Palace are winning that one. David. United. United. Oh, wait, we're at Palace. That's, no one's gonna beat much. Sunday. Oh, but they'll one do it though. They'll do it. They'll start off like and They'll do it. They will. Man City at home to QPR. One thirty kickoff. Uh, Man City win. I think Joe Hart's had enough, so I think they'll win. David, um, Robin? I wish QPR would win, but I'm City. Yeah, I'm going City. Yeah, Full house. QPR Chelsea at home to Liverpool. Way! Turns up. Um, I'll give that a 1 1. 1 1. I'm giving this Chelsea. I'm going draw as well. Chelsea. Okay, and Monday Night Football, Arsenal at home to Swansea. Oscar. Um, at Arsenal. The draw. Arsenal easy win. Robin, you take the piss. What do you mean draw? You asked for my views. <laughs> 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 you asked for my views. Okay. Um, Arsenal home win. You can't even say it. No, yeah. no. All uh, season. I said uh, last week I'm Arsenal right. would win. No, and then no, what did you no. say to me on Sunday? If it, but if it, was, if it was Peter's predictions, Arsenal would have won the league. Because all your, you never predict Arsenal until it is. Hold on. I went right. through a good December, yeah? <laughs> Not predicting a single Listen, Arsenal I'm, victory. Yeah? And then Chesney with his bottle. Yeah, so don't tell me that you know. No, no, no. I predicted Arsenal to win. Yeah, last week. I'm sucking my ball, bro. 
Arsenal to win, yeah. Oh. It was so quickly after the yeah. goal. Which was this Southampton, yeah? He dived he into away. the bottle. Fam, it was, it was, was JD and Coke in that bottle. I'm telling you, he didn't wait. He, he, didn't he wait had a quick sister. fix after that bottle. <laughs> 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 He's like, oh, <laughs> Make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, um, post up, share everything. This is the Top 4 Podcast. We'll see you next week. Yeah! Thank you.